everybody. This is Timo on a Friday. We just wanted to um, take a break from the heat outside and talk about one of the frequently asked questions that we get, which is, do we cut between the eyes? And if we do cut between the eyes, um, how can we safely do it? Some of us take our dogs to groomers and oftentimes you'll see on YouTube, you'll see a lot of groomers will take a clipper and they'll take a clipper and they'll go in between the eyes and clean and sh and they'll they'll take a clipper and they'll shave the nose off, um, the hair on top of the nose off. And using a clipper around the eyes just because we see it on YouTube, um, we really, really, really advise um, not to use a clipper around the face, around the eyes. Um, nor around any of the sanitary areas, the privates, because it can be very, very dangerous. So, um, so the question is, do we cut between the eyes or do we not? Um, and so I wanted to show you kind of the answer is, I guess, let me start out with the answer, which is yes, you can cut between the eyes and no, you shouldn't cut between the eyes. So I guess, um, the answer is really uh, up to the owner. Uh, it's up to the the face structure of the dog, um, whether they're prone to to tearing or not. Whether you want to have you know a Korean styling with short hair, or whether you want to have Korean styling like Cozy has a Korean cut, but we um, originally did not cut in between the eyes, and then when we did. Once you start cutting in between the eyes, you end up having to cut and cut and cut and cut. So um, if you want to make that commitment to constantly keep the eye area clean, then um, then yes, you can cut between the eyes. Like for Tweety, we have to maintain and keep her eyes clear. And that's someone texting me. Um, so let me, so going back to Cozy, Cozy, we are growing out in between her eyes because we cut and we decided we want to keep her, if you look at her hair, Cozy's hair is long and we are trying to grow out in between the eyes. Tweety's hair is layered and very, very short. So Dolce's hair, we have not cut in between the eyes. We never have, um, ever, have we ever, ever cut in between the hair um, around Dolce's eyes. We have always grown her, sorry, we have always grown the hair, we've never touched it. So um, the nice thing about with Dolce is that because we've never cut in between the corners of the eyes, we've never had to maintain that. So and she's, she's we're, we're growing her out, her, her, if we can get her to stand up for a little bit, See if we can show her. Okay, she's she's being grown out into full coat, and she has a massive, a massive, massive coat. So, so going back to the question is, you you have the opportunity. You can cut between the eyes. We do not ever recommend shaving with a clipper. If you need to cut between the eyes and maintain and keep the eye area clean. The first thing you want to do, if you're doing it at home, you want to do it as safely as possible. So what I recommend is using, say, a short a short scissor. You want it kind of blunt tip, and you, you pre preferably you want it curved. And the reason why you want a curved scissor for trimming around the eyes is you always want the point to curve towards you. So for if I'm going to trim around Tweety's eyes, I will not have the curve, so if this is her eyes, I will not want the curve going against her eye. You're going to want to turn that curve away from her eye. Um, so if this is her eye, then what you'll want is you'll want to make sure that the curve is away, away from her eye. So that's number one. Number two is um, if the dog is moving all around, then how are you going to isolate the dog's face? Coming from behind, getting them to rest their 
getting them to rest their hand on your, your their chin on your hand and then you can hold them down gently obviously not pushing too hard and you'll get them to rest with your thumb and get them to relax on your hand so that's number one getting them to rest on your hand you do want to keep them as still as possible if you're trimming around the eyes because obviously you don't want eye injury and if your dog is really wild or if you feel like you're uncomfortable with scissors then I would not recommend this. So again, we're gonna put the, the curve of the shear coming towards you. The point's gonna be pointing towards you. And what you'll do is you'll gently, you'll gently rest the scissor with the point pointing towards you on their nose. And in the beginning, you may just wanna, you know, just gently get them used to having a scissor around their face. Typically, when we have um, guest dogs that come to us for styling, the, the dogs usually instinctively, they will close their eyes when scissors are going near them. So just kind of get them used to having scissors around their face. And then what you'll want to do is you'll back up. I think Tweety's got her tongue out. We'll stick her tongue in. We'll stick her tongue in. Okay, sorry, baby. Okay, so you'll rest the scissor on their eyes. And then the point is coming towards you. You'll back up a little bit and then you'll poke the hairs forward and then you'll snip. And that's the safest way to clear the eye area. So sometimes you'll poke the hairs up and snip like that. So now the other side, the left side, okay, we'll let her get settled. The left side, the way we recommend doing the left side is you hold them Hold them, get them to relax, get them to relax. And then what you'll do is you'll do the same thing. You will rest the scissor with the point pointing towards you, rest the scissor on their nose, you'll back up, you'll pop the hairs up with the point, and then you'll come over here, capture the hair, and just snip. That's it. Get them to rest, come over here, back up, snip, get them to rest, Get them to rest, back up, and snip, okay? And that's the way to safely clear the eye area. Um, so the other thing you wanna do is, what helps is comb, if you're in Korean cut, you wanna comb the hairs here up, comb it up, and you may wanna go and do one more pass where you rest the scissor back up, Come on, snip. Rest the scissor. You can see some more hairs popped up. Back up. Snip. That's it. And always keeping the point away from the dog. Okay? Um, so now with Cozy here, we have chosen to, we did originally snip a few hairs, and now we're growing, we're growing her out. And so you can see that her Korean cut's very different than Tweety's in that these hairs are all long, and we keep all these hair, these are all long. For Tweety, her hair is short. It's all the way short. Um, this is all tapered in, and they're in transition right now where we have chosen to grow out these little wingies here. If Tweety stands up, we can show show you so typically with korean cut um, this stuff was usually all gone we usually shave all this we, we've sh typically shave all this off we're in transition right now where the hair in front of the ears we're growing out these little um the hairs in front of her ears and the reason why we're doing that is as she gets older her hair has gotten thinner a little bit and um, it doesn't grow as quickly so we thought to make her ears fuller, we would grow these hairs out. So they're a little bit in transition. 